Hi! Today I'd like to talk about setting up a Google site to keep your ePortfolio for your English class. So here we are on the Google main page and there are two ways to get there. The easiest way to get to Google Sites is this way. So I just go up in here and I type in sites.google.com. That's an easy way to get there. But I know a lot of people like to get there this way. It's not as easy as it used to be. So I click on the little Google uh, family menu here. I ask for more. I ask for even more. And on even more, I have to scroll all the way to the bottom, come up a little bit, and there's Google Sites right here. So that will also take me to Google Sites. Now that we're in Google Sites here, you'll notice that um, I already have some stuff up. Now if you go to sites.google.com, it doesn't automatically take you to the new area. So this is the old area. So if you do sites.google.com, then you have to click here to go to new Google Sites. But clearly, if you go through the square menu, it takes you straight to new Google Sites. We're going to make our portfolio in new Google Sites. So here I am in new Google Sites. It's possible that you won't have stuff here. That's okay. Click on the little plus sign that says create new site. And here I am. Here's my title page. All right, I'm ready to get started. So I'm going to click in here where it says my title page and I'm going to come up with a title for this and I might call this uh, Benander Portfolio just for the moment. Now I have to enter a site name so I might call this uh, Benander 1001 English or if I think I might be using it for more stuff maybe I might call it Benander English Portfolio so that it's easier to find. So there we are. I've got my home page. This is my home. And I want to put a little welcome on it because on your home page you're going to need to do that. So come over here to the text box, click on text box, and look, there's a text box. And here I write some words of welcome to my readers. I will also explain the purpose of this portfolio. So that's just to help my readers understand why I made it and how they're going to read it. Once I've done all that, I'm going to click here on Publish. And I have to give it a name, and I'm going to call it Benander English Portfolio, and I'm going to add the word Demo so that I know what I've done here. I'll click on Publish, and that's now the address. So I've, I have the beginnings of my site. Now if I'm going to I, I need to give the professor the address for my site. I can't do this because this is the editing address. So don't put this in Blackboard. Go here in Publish and go to View Published Site. And view published site, you see now the name, the title of my site is Benander English Portfolio Demo. So I don't need the home part. So I'm going to copy this part, and that's what I'm going to paste into Blackboard so that the professor can find my site. However, I want to go back to editing the site now, and I want to show you some other things you need to do. You're going to need to add some more pages to this, and we'll decorate it momentarily. So I'm going to go over here to Pages. I'm going to click on Pages, and right here where it says Add Page, I'm going to add a page. I'm going to call it About, because you're going to need an About page. And on the About page, now I've gotten to the About page. Tum -ti -tum. I'm going to click on Insert, because I want a text box. And here I introduce myself. And I'm also going to need to put an image here. So I'm going to click on Image. And I'm going to, can I search? Oh, no, I have to upload it to my Google Drive. So that's going to be, that's going to be a, a different thing, because I haven't uploaded it to my Google Drive yet. So images, it has to be in your Google Drive before you can upload it. So the next page I'm going to add, I'm going to go back to Pages, and on Pages I'm going to add a page for evaluating 
sources, because that's one of my essays I'm going to have to have in here. Evaluating sources, done. And I'm going to have one for an annotated bibliography. And that one's done. And another main page that I'm going to want is my research report. And I'm going to want one for my genre recasting. And then finally, the last major project that I'm going to have is the final reflection. And that's done. So now I have the pages for all my major projects. Now that I've done that, I'm going to do the Google Sites version of Save, which is published, so everything is published now. Now I'm going to need a couple of sub pages for this as well. So under Evaluating Sources, which is um, one of the pages I'll have, see these three dots over here? I'm going to click on these three dots and I'm going to create a sub page. And I'm going to call that Process. So this is my process in thinking writing. Now there's another page that I need to have, and that sub page is going to be called the draft because I'm going to have to post the draft of my work. And I'm also going to need to make another sub page, and that will be my final. So of the evaluating sources, I'm going, to need, I'm going to have a place for my process work, for my draft, and for my final. And what this looks like here is it becomes a drop-down menu. So that's very nice. Um, I have to do this for all of these major projects. So then I would go to Annotated Bibliography, I would create a sub-page, and that would be Process. And under Annotated Bibliography, I would create another sub-page and call it Draft. And then I go back up to Annotated Bibliography and I make another sub-page and that will be Final. So now I have a drop-down menu under this one and I have a drop-down menu here. I'm going to have to do this again for the research report and for the genre recasting. So go through and you'll add those. And so that's how you create the shell for your site. In the next tutorial, I'll talk about how to decorate your site.